Hello and welcome to this Oklahoma City Thunder and Science Nerd edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the cult classic 1986 remake of The Fly. Directed by David Cronenberg, starring Jeff Goldblum and Jaden Davis. The 86 version of The Fly is all about Jeff Goldblum being a science nerd bastard motherfucker. Basically he grew up, he gets sick riding in cars, so he wanted to figure out a way where he didn't have to, you know, ever travel, travel again. So he came up with some teleporting bullshit. Kind of like Star Trek, except you have to climb and do a little phone book looking thing and be able to transport somewhere else. So he starts out, he makes it work, but you know, the problem is he can only do inanimate objects. Uh, he throws a fucking baboon in there, turns out motherfucker inside out, so he's like, hey man, we can't be throwing people in here yet. He does some tests with some steaks and some bullshit. Along the way, he meets his reporter, Gina Davis, who's hot as hell in typical 1980s Gina Davis fashion. Starts porking her somehow, I don't know how, man. This Motherfucker looked like he couldn't get pussy in the morgue, but he does bang Gina Davis a bunch of times. They get involved, and while they're involved, he figures out a way to make, you know, real flesh go through. He throws another baboon in, that fucker goes through. One night, he gets drunk, he gets shit-faced, and he's like, I'm going to do it myself. So he goes through, but the problem is, when he doesn't, because he's drunk and he's fucking being a dumbass, he doesn't realize that there's actually a fly flying around, and it gets in the teleporter pot. So he goes in, him and the fly, they teleport to the other pod across the room. But the problem is, the teleportation pod breaks down his DNA, breaks down that fly DNA on a molecular level, fuses them motherfuckers, so when he comes out, next thing you know, this motherfucker's got all kinds of problems. He starts getting acne real bad, he starts fucking wanting to eat candy bars, he starts wanting to just pork and pork and pork, and fucking run around getting hookers and all this shit. And the next thing you know, fucking ears are falling off, nose are falling off, his dick is falling off in the sink. And this motherfucker's just changing and changing. Typical, early, old school, David Cronenberg, body horror fashion. This motherfucker just turned into a nasty, nasty beast. And there ain't nothing you can do, because in the end he's going to be the fly, because this is the fly, and you're going to see a motherfucker turn into a fly, because that's what the fly's all about. Tell you what, man. Good gore in this one. Great performance by Jeff Goldblum. This was his breakout role. A lot of people didn't know who he was before that. And, you know, shit, it's probably his best performance of his career. He really sells it. Even when he put all the makeup bullshit on, he really sells the character. He does a lot of interesting shit. Not spoiling too much, cause, but there is a big gooey ending and all that. And the special effects are great. You know, he starts puking on motherfuckers, rotting their skin off and all this shit. It, hey, it's just a great David Cronenberg classic. To, you know, David Cronenberg now... He likes to do refined, arty movies where everybody sits in a room and they talk real slow and they look at each other. Back in the day, David Cromer didn't give a fuck, man. He just wants to have gross shit, gross shit on the screen. And he got to make a big budget movie and put gross shit in there, so kudos to him. Like we said before on this show, sometimes you go, you revisit nostalgic bullshit from your past as a kid and it don't live up. Well, the fly's not like the fly lives up, man. It's still just as good now as it was in 1986. I love this movie so much for the great performances, the great special effects, just the technique, the way the movie was done so good, the music's good. Hey man, this is, in my mind, for a genre movie, damn near perfect. I gotta give The Fly 9 out of 10. Now, moving on to picture quality and audio quality. Man, fuck these nerd glasses. Alright, much better. Picture quality, audio quality, this one, this Blu-ray, they did a real good job, man. They did a real nice, high-def presentation. It looks really good. You know, maybe not as good as a brand new $200 million movie, but for a movie from 1986, man, this shit looks awesome. The audio quality, they did do, transfer it to DTS HD Master Audio, and the sound is real crisp, real clear. Probably the best you ever heard it sound, but this being a movie from 1986, they didn't have kind of like the modern type of surround sound, so they have to remix it now, which is it's good, but there ain't a lot of surround sound effects and shit. But it's clean, it's clear, you can hear it. Picture and sound, I gotta give this one a solid 7.5 out of 10. Alright, now if the movie wasn't good enough, if the presentation wasn't good enough, if you're a Fly fan, special features are gonna make you have to have to get this motherfucker. When you first go on the menu, you see these special features, you start clicking on shit, it's terrible. Those are the new special features that they made just for this Blu-ray. I ain't gonna bullshit you. The Blu-ray exclusive special features suck. There's like a fly swatter game where you're supposed to, I don't know what the fuck you're supposed to do. Because the shit barely works on your fucking Blu-ray player. There's also some weird, like, um, kind of like a chapter scene, but there's like a database where you go through and it has all the shit listed. Like, I'm not bullshitting, it'll say, watch Jeff Goldblum's dick fall off. And you click it, and it goes to a scene in the movie where Jeff Goldblum's dick falls off. That's some gimmicky shit, man. I mean, who gives a fuck about that? But, 
Special features get better when you click over to the special features that was originally on the special edition DVD. They poured the features over and they're great, man. First of all, got an audio commentary for David Cronenberg. He tells you everything, man. He's real honest. He even tells you about how he thought the original fly of Vincent Price was a piece of shit, whatever. Which is rare, man. Fucking most remake directors won't tell you that shit. But he tells you all about the movie, how he made it, why he want to make it. That's great. Really good audio commentary. But the reason to buy this fucking disc is there is a two and a half hour documentary all just about the making of this movie, man. They got old footage that was on the set with VHS. They got new interviews with people. They got people talk all about Cronenberg's early career and how they knew him. They talk about all the shit that went through this movie. Two and a half document hour documentary on a fucking 95 minute movie. That's above and beyond the Call of Duty. I'll give these motherfuckers credit. That alone. But then there's even more. Past the documentary, my favorite feature, they got test footage of when they was making special effects, when they first put Jeff Goldblum in his makeup, and he was all crawling around and shit. If you like the movie and you like how the effects turn out, it's really cool to see that evolution with the special effects, how they did it, man. There's other shit on here. Promotional feature ads. Of course, they got the original teaser, trailer, TV spots, all that shit. I'll tell you what, man. This is the definition of a special edition. It don't get much better. Special features, you got to give it 10 out of 10. So that's it for the fly, man. I'm getting ready to fly out of here. Hopefully my dick don't fall off, but I do want to grow a pair of wings. That would be fucking cool. But hey, man, if you're a fly fan, even if you got the DVD and shit, like whatever, get this because this has everything, man. It looks good. It sounds good. Fucking you're going to have to get it, man.